let's go ahead and create some cypress roots in a tree the tree that maybe live in a swamp and have it multiple different roots going inside so this way we can have it hands-on practice to see how we can manipulate with the branching children and parents so right here we have it our root the basic and i want to add a trunk segment to this so right here let's go add it and we'll go to connect our trunk segment as you see on the image we have our trunk created it is about 10 meters tall for now just let's leave it this size we'll modify maybe later a um, couple things you notice right here we have it the root flares i don't want it actually what i want i want to actually cut my the trunk off so i don't want the big trunk going down i want right on top split and going multiple multiple roots going in the wall to do this let's go first disable root flares and then next notice we have it only link so we cannot kind of cut from top and go down we can do this by using radius so i'm going and edit filter for our radius and we'll just add one point on the top we'll take point this one and take down notice right here we're already cutting off so next i just want to create a little bit more smoother kind of transition for this i like this bring this down zero so you can see we kind of make smoother somewhat and we um creating some floating area so in this case we can add roots that are going down and we'll still have it opening so when we put it in the water you almost can see it through of course you can modify more if you needed this uh, trunk to have a different shapes some other adjustments but for our purpose, this will work well. Next, I want to add branches. So let's go right click geometry and we'll go select the branch segment. So this one, I'm going to same connect, take end and connect to our trunk and we'll go to no children. If no, no children, it's the same what was one available. And we'll just reuse this tab that was generated before for us. Okay, let's click and we'll look on the branches and also right here, we have them all over places. I want to take these branches and bring them down below because this is, will be my roots. To do this, we'll need modify start and end. So end is tall. If we start pushing end down, down, you can see how our roots start kind of going in one place. So this is about area where I want to put them maybe just a little bit higher but overall if you play around you can find good position for this so also let's increase this to about eight plus two so we have it anywhere from six to ten randomized um, next i want to couple things adjustment for our roots one you notice they all kind of stick up so let's go take this angle and bring down probably around this angle will work very well for us for now and we'll use a coil just to go around any kind of rotation we can play a little bit more later but also let's set 15 degrees plus minus so it's add same we add the randomization to our plant so before we can you also can a little bit play around see which one will look better so they're kind of distributing equally. Okay, so we selected um, some of the plant for now. We create some roots. Let's look on some other properties we have it. We have an oral which allowed us to trim. You can see if we have it too long, we can go cut off the branches just leave it too much maybe on this one also we can um, customize it on spread but overall this property for this reason we probably don't want to use right now um we have it a little bit enhanced property scale and everything uh sometimes for the root i do like maybe take and increase actually a little bit more so it will a little bit thicker make root and let's also the right in this case we point 
6.2 just to add additional randomization notice right here we have a nice and thick kind of roots so this is will add good touch to these plants okay actually you know what let's go to about maybe about 120 117 degrees somewhere around that area 15 so that look about right okay so right now we did a basic setup we have our trunk we add some of the branches and to complex house cell or we can add additional so if we enable we can add how many we want going from one branch for example if we want two we can add it more on this case you can see how they're increasing and of course if we do this we want to take and little bit rework on an angle so actually what all world does for us it is how many um, segments can go from one place so it does help when you create like half an or other areas and in our case for the roots this is will work properly well as well you notice some of this turn yellow and it's tell us that have some problem with the blending so if we disable some of root blending they will be accepting because otherwise um kind of won't work properly however uh, we can um, blending does help us look a little bit better in the edges so we can re-enable again but we need only take and reduce some of this properties to make it blend better together okay so we can work a little bit on this but again if you want it you can always remove it and you can see right this edge right here it's where kind of polygon meshes one shop so let's for now just turn it off we'll come back after to this and this is our basic let's continue to adding more details in the next portion of the story